said that uh, artificial intelligence is the, the fundamental existential risk facing civilization. Did I get that close I enough? Think I, in, in my opinion, it is, it is the biggest risk that we face as a civilization is artificial intelligence. And so, to a group of leaders, what would you advise that we should, how should we be addressing something that's, that's a, such a large landscape and yet obviously so important? Um, I think that the, you know, one of the roles of government is to ensure the public good um, it, and, and to, uh, that dangers to the, the, the public are ad addressed. Um, so that hence the regulatory thing. I think the, the first order of business would be to try to learn as much as possible, you know, to understand the nature of the issues, to um, look closely at the progress that is being made um, and the remarkable um, achievements of artificial intelligence. Um, I mean, last year, uh, uh, Go, which is a, quite a difficult game to beat, um, that people thought would never be beaten with, uh, um, by, by a computer, that, 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 a computer, that a computer would either never beat the best human player or that it was 20 years away. Um, and last year, um, uh, AlphaGo, which was done by DeepMind, which is a kind of a Google subsidiary, um, absolutely crushed the world's best player. Um, and now, now, that now it can crush, it can play the top 50 simultaneously and crush them all. So, just like that pace of progress is remarkable. Um, and, um, and there's, you can see more and more coming out, I think the robotics. Uh, you can see robots that can learn to walk from, from nothing. Um, you know, within hours, like way faster than any biological being. Um, um, but the, the, the thing that's uh, most dangerous is, uh, and, and it's the hardest to kind of wrap, um, kind of get your arms around because it's not a physical thing, is kind of a deep intelligence in the network. Um, he said, well, what harm could a deep intelligence in the network do? So, well, it could start a war um, by, create, by doing fake news and spoofing email accounts and fake press releases and just by you know, manipulating information. The pen is mightier than the sword. Um, so, uh, I mean, as an example, I want to, be, I want to emphasize, I do not think this actually occurred. This is purely a hypothetical that I do. <laughs> I'm digging my grave here. Um, <laughs> um, but you know that, like that, there was that second Malaysian airliner that was shot down uh, on the uh, Ukrainian-Russian border? Um, and that, that really amplified tensions between Russia and the, the EU um, in, in a massive way. Well, uh, like, let's say if, if you had uh, an AI that was uh, where the AI's goal was to maximize the value of a portfolio of stocks. Um, one of the ways to maximize value would be to uh, go uh, long on defense, short on consumer, start a war. Um, and then uh, how could it do that? Well, you know, hacking into the Malaysian Airlines uh, 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 rat aircraft routing server, a route it over a war zone, um, then send an anonymous tip that an enemy uh, aircraft is flying overhead right now. 